So I don't know if you heard it or not, but this 06 uh, Mountaineer has a dead misfire. Uh, these are the codes. These codes are all related to a bad fuse, and the purpose of this video is to show you how to identify uh, a misfire using tailpipe pressure. Now, I brought up a discussion uh, a while back uh, somewhere, and the subject was on identifying a misfire with tailpipe pressure. I was trying to, you know, learn more information about it, and somebody came on there saying, you know, that's a stupid test. You know, you have a misfire monitor on most vehicles, and I disagreed with them because a lot of older vehicles, you're not going to have a misfire monitor. Some newer vehicles, you may not have a misfire monitor. Sometimes when you get to a shop or whatever, a customer, uh, the code is going to be cleared. Uh, other times, you know, a, a, as far as a power balance test, I mean, if the if you have an intermittent misfire, doing a power balance test or listening into an RPM drop really isn't going to, it's not going to do anything. So, So looking at this waveform, uh, this this test only took about five to ten minutes to identify the misfire. So our blue trace is going to be our pressure pulses and exhaust. Our red trace is going to be a sink on the number one ignition coil. And so, like almost immediately after startup, we can actually identify what cylinder is misfiring and. What we're looking for in these pressure pulses is some type of anomaly or inconsistent. And we have this pulse here going down much further than the other ones. And this is a dead miss, so of course every single time uh, this cylinder goes to fire, it has a misfire basically. Now, uh, let me get a better view here. So every time an exhaust valve opens, um, you're going to have a drop in pressure. Now, if you have a fuel or ignition related misfire and you do not have combustion taking place, when the exhaust valve opens, you're going to have a lower drop in pressure as you normally will. Um, if you have a misfire related to uh, compression and you have a lot of cylinder leakage, you may not get this low drop in pressure. So here's how we can tell exactly what cylinder is misfiring. So we're going to put in an overlay. I think it's gone. So we have our overlay up, we have the firing order in it, we're synced to the number one. And if we look on our overlay, we can see that this pressure pulse, uh, as soon as this pressure pulse drops down, um, we look and see what cylinder is on the exhaust stroke. And we can see our number eight is on our exhaust stroke right when this low pressure starts to drop. So this tells us we have a misfire on our number 8 cylinder. So we're not going to get into this ignition waveform, but we have an ignition related misfire on 
Uh, number eight, it's a bad ignition coil, but the point to this video is it only takes about five or ten minutes to use tailpipe pressure to identify a misfire. And you're not going to use this on every single vehicle, maybe five, maybe ten percent. You know, it, sometimes it's just faster than using a scan, so if you have all your equipment ready to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.